Hi guys, this is just a quick update on the last video I did about the Bigfoot um, sighting in Millville, Utah, which was just recent. It was August 7th in broad daylight and this RN, this nurse, looking out her back window, saw it. So um, we did a video and we really weren't sure where it was, but long story short, this woman wrote back to Steve Ishtal. I found out from How to Hunt with Steve, and so when we hear these, we like to go up and kind of check them out. I don't hear a lot, but when I do, we go check them out. We found the exact place, and on my last video, we were like, mm, I don't know, not so much, you know. I don't really, I don't know if that's the right uh, pump house. Dang, it is. She wrote in yesterday, I seen the video from Steve's How to Hunt, which I'm gonna link below and I'll link our video. Um, she sent a picture of the pump house. We were right there. Here's the thing though, it's gated. You can't get up there um, because we were gonna walk up there, but it's gated. And so, you know, we didn't want to trespass. <laughs> anyway, um, that place looks like it is 18 feet tall. And I believe in the video, where she's telling her story to Steve, she said it was a 10 footer, easy. Cause she actually went up and measured it. So we are in the right place. That is the exact uh, pump house or, or water house, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is just an update. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the new video of Steve's just and give you the timestamp where she actually shows the picture. If I can't do that, I'll actually take a screenshot or a photo so you can see her her picture compared to where we were. Now, I did have a lady ask me just just actually recently. She wanted to know where whereabouts this is. The best thing I can tell you, it's Millville, Utah, but when I did a Google search and I put Millville Canyon, it will show you exactly where this is. It'll give you the coordinates, it'll give you the road name and all that fun stuff. Um, just so you know, I, I did a little research. Where she's seen this Bigfoot in broad daylight is just 6.3 miles from Logan Canyon, where the two deer hunters um, saw a Bigfoot walking high. It's the highest point of Logan, Logan Canyon. We did a video on Logan Canyon, but this was right where we were and these two deer hunters actually filmed it. And I have that on another video, which I'll link to that as well. So this is just an update. We were so excited because we were in the exact place. <laughs> that water pump house is where it was. And I, that does look, she said she, I, I believe it was 18 feet. This thing was at least 10 feet is what she had said. So, um, and she was just looking out her back door. And I give you a comparison. There's a house right there by the pump house but the pump house is out in the distance. Um, and it's just a hop skip six miles away from Logan Canyon where we've heard several sightings in Logan Canyon. And I know most of you have heard this story, but I'm gonna repeat it because it's worth telling. The girl that I work with um, here at the plant, she was, I came in and she goes, Marianne, you're never gonna believe what happened to us. It was really weird. We went up Logan camp camping Logan Canyon camping and she said something weird happened now mind you she's got a big truck and a fifth wheel her fifth wheel is 10 feet tall okay so that first night they were there her husband's asleep she's reading the two dogs are sitting in there and she hears this boom upside the high part of the fifth wheel and I says were you scared? She says, I was nervous, but my husband didn't wake up. The dogs didn't do nothing. She had two of them, I believe. She said, so she just blew it off. She just figured, you know, it could have been an animal. And I told her it definitely could. It could be a cougar jumping from a tree onto the top of your fifth wheel. It could be a moose. It could even be a bear or a human, right? Playing tricks on you. Here's the thing. She says, yeah, but on the second night, it happened again, not once, but twice, boom, and boom again. This time her husband was awake. 
And they're like, what the hell is going on, right? So her husband was not about to go out, was not about to go out. He had a gun, but there was no way. The dogs were whimpering inside the fifth whip. So I said, so what did you do? She says, we did nothing. We got very little sleep. And I said, so when you got up the next morning, did you get up and look for tracks? She says, what do you mean look for tracks? I said, well, okay. It's really weird that the second night, a slam up your fifth wheel, not once but twice. If it was a cougar to do the exact same thing, twice, it's weird. I don't think a moose would, I don't even think a bear. Now a human on the other hand, but he was, her husband had a gun, so. Long story short, I told her, well, the only thing, I told her the only thing I can think of is it's a Bigfoot. And she's like, what? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I said, there's tons of Bigfoot sightings up Logan Canyon. I said, so what else would be able to do that and slap a 10 foot fifth wheel trailer and not do it one night, but two nights and the second night hit it twice? Hmm, things that make you go, hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna attach, I'm gonna try to attach either a clip or a picture of the actual water pump house so you guys can see it. And then I'll attach all the videos to give Steve the credit on all of that and our video where we actually drove up there. Okay, hang tight. House pictures you requested. Hi Steve, here are a few pictures of the Millville pump house you asked to see. Please keep my name private. Gotcha, Jeff. Thanks. Appreciate it. And you were from Utah, and you watched what you was first described as a, somebody riding horseback up in the back 40, and you know there's no way, and you look back, and it was that huge being running, taking off, darting, using bushes, cover, like, get me out of here. And that was the same story when I explained that that sure sounds like something or somebody just got here because, like I said, you had to get before, if you're just traveling randomly, before you got to the bottom of that valley, you would have had to have come up over the top of Highland where you would have seen all the human action down there in properties, right? Which would be very, very, very easy to avoid. So what the hell is this thing doing stuck in the very bottom, right in the heart of rural human land, panicking, trying to get out of there, find cover and runs right by the pump house. Remember that? And she said, I forget. I think he said the pump house came to, I can't remember. The pump house came to its uh, shoulder. I think the edge of the roof came to its shoulder, I think, or something. But either way, you can tell this pump house in the distance and, and picture a Sasquatch or a, a black being beside it. Even if his head came to the edge of the bottom edge of the roof. And seeing that at that distance and that terrain would be pretty clear. And it would be uh, very frickin' alarming, would it not? To see something with its head or even its shoulder at the same level as the top of the wall, running at a remarkable speed across that open terrain, right? You'd be able to see it going for a while. And I believe she did see it go for a matter of minutes too, I think, if I recall. There you go, there's the pump house. There you go, guys. Appreciate you going out of your way.